Hi everyone, my name's Gabby, and in 2023, I'm going to be attempting to through hike the entire Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. So today I want to make a video on what kind of food I'm going to be bringing on the Appalachian Trail, how I'm going to be cooking my food, and kind of like what my resupply strategy is for the trail next year. So as you can see, I have a lot of food around me right now. This is not necessarily everything I'll be bringing on my through hike um, for obvious reasons, but some of it I just put out to give you kind of like a picture. So first I want to talk about how I'm going to be cooking food on the Appalachian Trail. So some people opt to um, cold soak their food, which is when you don't bring a stove or any heat source and you just make food without heat. But I'm not doing that personally. I do want to be able to have like a hot meal at the end of the night. This is my stove. It is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Um, it's super light. I want to say it's like a couple ounces. And I have this 750 milliliter Tokes titanium pot, which is what I'll be using to cook food. One of the pieces of gear that I really want someday is a jet boil. I just love how cool they are and how like you can do so much with them. But for like weight purposes, the MSR Pocket Rocket is awesome. It does the job. So in order to store my food on the Appalachian Trail, I'll be keeping it in this lightweight bear bag. Um, this is a Z-Pax bear bag. I think it's a large. Um, but this is how I'm going to be storing my food. This is um, waterproof. Obviously, it's super light. And then I will be hanging a bear bag at night in a tree so that bears can't get my food. Um, and yeah, I really like this bag. It does the job. It's super light. I think this is what most um, through hikers use. So first, I'll talk about some of the things that I'll probably end up eating for breakfast most days um, and packing for breakfast. So... Over here I have some of these um, dehydrated meals. I won't have these for breakfast often, but a good friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of um, backpacking meals as a gift for graduation. So I'm gonna bring them with me the first week so that I kind of have like some better food the first week. Like stuff like this breakfast skillet. I don't know how that's gonna be. Oatmeal in this dehydrated packet. Most of the time I won't be eating dehydrated food for breakfast. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna wanna cook for breakfast. In the beginning when it's like cold out and I kind of just want to get moving so um, I'm probably gonna opt to eat things like protein bars I have some here these are not necessarily the ones I'm gonna bring with me these are just what I had on hand um, so any type of protein bar cliff bars um, are gonna be really good fiber one bars I know they don't have the best ingredients but they will provide me with some fiber that I won't be able to get necessarily on trail easily. I also have instant oatmeal packets. I will probably be using these over like a dehydrated version just because they're cheaper um, and they taste good. I also have these. My brother gave them to me, um, but they low-key taste good. There are these MREs and it's um, applesauce with raspberry puree. I feel like this would just be a good addition to like a breakfast. There's also other options too. There's like those go-go squeeze things or whatever, but I might bring these as well and just probably eat them within the first day or two so that they're out of my pack. The thing I'm gonna make sure I'm trying to eat on trail is dehydrated fruit um, or dried fruit. I don't wanna completely cut good nutrients out of my diet and I'm not gonna carry fresh fruit. If I do, it'll be for like, one, I'll grab a banana, pack it out and like eat it within a few hours. But um, these dried uh, strawberries taste really good. I also like dried apples, um, also Pop-Tarts. They have no nutritional value, but they are pretty caloric. So Pop-Tarts are gonna definitely probably be in my pack. Other things that aren't pictured here that I can picture myself eating for breakfast really often are things like muffins, donuts, bagels. Um, I could put like peanut butter or Nutella on a bagel. It's just gonna be a good excuse to be able to eat that stuff in the morning because they're so caloric that like you can't eat that every day in normal life. Otherwise, you know. But yeah, so I feel like I'll definitely be bringing a lot of that stuff because it's just a good excuse to be able to eat it. Of course, you can also see over here, I have containers of peanut butter and Nutella. I will not be bringing these um, on the trail with me. I don't have like squeeze bottles um, or smaller like instant packages to show you, but peanut butter and Nutella, I will definitely bring. Um, I technically have a peanut allergy per a blood test, but peanut butter never affects me. Like I didn't even to get the test because I was trying to see if I was allergic to peanut butter. So I still eat peanut butter, I don't know. Um, and it's a good source of protein, fat, whatever, calories. So they have squeeze bottles of peanut butter that I'm definitely going to bring. Okay, so next I'll talk about 
stuff that I'll bring for lunch. Um, one of the main things that people eat for lunch on trail, I feel like, is tuna. You gotta be careful about the mercury in tuna, so I don't know how often I'll eat tuna. I put cans here just to show, like, you know, tuna, but I'm obviously not gonna bring uh, cans. They have, like, lightweight packages of tuna. And my plan is to get mayo packets before I leave and bring those with me because I don't like tuna without mayo. So I will mix that together and then tortillas. Um, they're pretty high in calories and uh, pack easier than bread. So I'll bring tortillas and probably eat tuna with tortillas. I can also put peanut butter and Nutella in tortillas um, and eat that. Another thing I'll be bringing is probably like a package of pepperoni. I don't know, I try not to eat too many cured meats. Um, so I don't think I'll eat pepperoni often, but every now and then um, I feel like I'll get it just to switch it up from like tuna or like snacks. I'll also, honestly, most of the time I'm probably just gonna eat a lot of snacks for lunch. So nuts are really great. Almonds, trail mix, which I don't have with me. Um, again, protein bars, probably be eating those for every meal of the day. I really like peanut butter crackers, so I'll bring these. And another thing that I know is good to eat for protein, but I can't really eat too much of it is beef jerky. Um, it just like, I have a messed up jaw. I mean, I'll add to all my problems. I mean, I sound like I'm just a walking problem, but I have a messed up jaw. So chewing things like beef jerky hurts, but beef jerky is a great source of protein. So lastly, I'll talk about dinner. I won't eat dehydrated like backpacking meals often just cause they're expensive, but I really like the mountain house, like lasagna. Um, the chili mac is pretty good. Oh, I had this fettuccine alfredo when I was camping in the Adirondacks. I can't remember what, I think it was Backpacker's Pantry. That was really good too. Some other stuff here that's really cool. I have Mexican style beef bowl, this chicken pesto pasta. This is um, pad thai, which I'm excited to try. I like pad thai. And this is um, Santa Fe rice and beans with chicken. Another thing that we'll be eating all the time for dinner is probably mac and cheese. Not necessarily this brand, because I don't actually love this brand cooked with water, but the Annie's White Cheddar Shells or Normal Craft, I love it. Like, I feel like every time I go camping, that's what I cook at night. It's cheap, it tastes good, it's a lot of calories. So definitely we'll be eating a lot of mac and cheese. And then of course, the poverty meal. I will be bringing ramen. I'm sure I'll eat ramen a lot. So ramen has a lot of sodium in it. And again, I, I don't wanna like kill my diet on this trail. I know it's kind of hard to do and I probably am gonna kill it, but I don't wanna be consuming tons of mercury, tons of sodium, like, you know, I don't wanna totally neglect fruits and vegetables. Ramen isn't gonna be a staple for me. It's just so much sodium, but it's so cheap and it tastes good. Do ramen with like peanut butter and soy sauce so I could get like little soy sauce packets and make like kind of like a peanut noodle thing. So I definitely might do that. Some other things that I don't have, um picture here for dinner that I'll definitely do are like instant mashed potatoes and north sides are pretty good they have a good amount of like pasta ones that taste good so the plan is when I go into town and I'm having like dinner or lunch with people um I'm definitely gonna like try to order like a side salad or vegetables obviously I'll bring other snacks chips like stuff like that that I like to eat I was just talking about like the main parts of things I will eat throughout the day to get calories you know like I'll bring candy and stuff like that some miscellaneous things that I know I'm gonna bring. I talked about bringing soy sauce and mayo packets. I'll also bring olive oil to add extra calories. I'll also probably be packing energy, like chews every now and then, like electrolytes. I really like the Propel electrolyte packets. You can get them pretty much anywhere and they taste good. Um, but I'll also probably do like noon tablets or liquid IV. And lastly, um, I will be bringing peppermint tea. Um, I like peppermint tea it helps me with my digestive problems that i have and um if i'm eating a lot of this stuff was probably not the best for my stomach so that's kind of my plan for what i'm going to be eating on the appalachian trail i'll quickly talk about my resupply um like method i guess for the trail so simply put i don't have a resupply method i am not going to be sending resupply boxes to myself I remember when I first decided I wanted to hike the Appalachian Trail, that was like one of the first things I looked into because I was so confused on how to do it. And it took me a while to figure out, I was like, how are post offices gonna hold stuff for you? Like normally people pick their stuff up or they deliver it. But then I found an article talking about, you know, how to package it and 
label it so that they'll hold it for you. So it's not necessarily the issue. I just don't want to be like, I don't want to be subject to the times of like when businesses are open, trying to get into town by a certain time so I can pick up my package. I get stressed out really easily and I don't want to get stressed out being on a time crunch. So I just want to roll into town or get picked up and resupply as I go. I'm not planning on sending any boxes. I know there are some areas where people will send boxes and then the rest of the trail, they just resupply as they go. I'm just gonna wing it. I just, I'm not gonna send any boxes. <laughs> it's not to say that I won't have people ship me stuff from home, but I'm not gonna be sending like food supplies. I just don't wanna deal with it. So <laughs> that's kind of like my resupply strategy. I'm just gonna either, if I'm walking through a town or get shuttled to a town, I will go to wherever. Um, I can go Walmart, Dollar General, gas station, and just resupply. That's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, kind of talking about what I'm going to be eating on the trail next year and how I'm going to be cooking and all that. And if you like this video, um, I would really appreciate it if you would like it. If you want to subscribe to see more videos, I would really appreciate it. I will be posting a full gear video in the coming months, um, probably closer to when I leave with literally everything I'm gonna be bringing on the trail with me. And I'm also gonna be posting videos while I'm on the trail. So if you wanna see those, you'll have to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.